Richard, Richard, come here. Stand here. Congratulations from Team Dinesh. Yep. It's Aloha Friday. I'm going to Hawaii. Okay. Um, ba -doo -ba -doo. Congratulations. Ba -doo -ba -doo -ba -doo -ba -doo -ba -doo. It's Aloha Friday. Uh, Setting up the Young's first decentralized mesh net. Uh, you licked ass. What? You dicked ass. I dicked ass. Kicked ass. Kicked. Uh, why were those your first two guesses? Gabe, what the fuck? Uh, You're the K. Where's the K? Right there. Kicked has two Dang. Ks. So, Dinesh thinks this is you? Correct. He's been messaging with it all day and he has no idea it's an AI. Well, we fold a human. I guess we just passed the Turing test. Almost a human. <laughs> Fucking Gilfoyle. <laughs> We're friends. Uh, hey, Dinesh. Yes? Can I get the latest tech specs from you, please? I've already sent them to you five times. I don't really want to dig through my inbox, um, so if you send it now, It'll be on top. Oh, wait. Wearable chair. Sending now. Okay, thank you, Dinesh. <laughs> Guilfoyle just said. Um, Gilfoyle, what the fuck is going on? Because I just texted you and you were, um, we've been texting back and forth all day. Was that not you? Complicated question. Is your shadow you? Was that a bot? Yes. So I spent all day chatting with a bot? Yes. You made an AI Gilfoyle? Yes. And I was talking to it. Do you need the real me for this conversation? You can't just fuck with people and manipulate them because you don't have the decency to want to interact with a coworker. Gabe wants to know if he'll need a jacket if he walks to lunch. And if so, can he borrow a jacket? Look at him, fucking Gabe. Hey, could you make me an AI Dinesh? Don't come over, don't come over, don't come over. I gotta say, this is amazing. Gabe whines and complains, and AI Dinesh just takes care of it. Thank you so much. <laughs> My auntie sent me a Hawaiian shirt. AI Dinesh must have told her about Hawaii. Stop. Why would AI Dinesh be talking to your aunt? I specifically told you you could only use it with Gabe. But it was going so well with Gabe that I might have given AI Dinesh access to all my contacts just to handle talking to my auntie and my parents. Why would you give AI Dinesh access to your contacts, you fucking moron? I'm one of your contacts. So? So at some point, AI Dinesh is going to reach out to AI Guilfoyle. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, indeed. Uh, hey, Dinesh. Yes, Gabe? I think the network is down. Thank you, Gabe. Uh, hey, Dinesh. Yes, Gabe? C can you fix it? Over seven million emails. All on our servers. My servers. 
virtually all containing racist invective and pornographic diagrams. Yep. Care to explain? AI glitch. Human error. I will rectify. Oh, oh, no, don't delete AI Dinesh. I love him. I can be more like AI Dinesh. I'll learn from my mistakes. I'll, I'll optimize myself. And delete it. Uh, hey, Dinesh. Can I get the text back from you, please? Sure, Kate. So this morning, Colin cut a new build of Gates of Galoo to his staging server. Okay, um, this is Baldurich, capital city of Galunia. Those are some ghoul knights wearing gelatinous armor. This is just the game, pretty standard stuff. Well, until I turn on the microphone. How are you doing, Richard? Are you hungry? Would you like some pizza? What the fuck? He's using our API to run ads directly in the game engine? Crazy, right? Domino's pizza? in a fantasy medieval universe. Why, it's enough to make you want to go on vacation. And he's even using our ability to track sentiment. Yeah, even if I say nonsense words, it assigns them an emotional value. La, 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 la! Fuck me. So, unless we get rid of Colin, which we can't, he is going to put this on our network. Money just perverts everything. At this point, I could stand to be a little perverted. Yeah, I want to be a lot perverted. I want to blow money while it talks to its wife on the phone. I want to suck right. money. Oh. Microphone. Oh, uh, kittens, puppies, United Nations. Uh, Bertram, while I have you. You don't have me. Richard's just tasked me with streamlining productivity and balancing headcount. Can you explain to me why you have no one working under you? Just seems odd considering that the Agile board is showing that you have a massive backlog. You're new here, so I'll forgive the patronizing tone. I'm more concerned with being right than being fast. And I don't like dealing with people. To wit, are we done? Oh, you're that guy. What guy, exactly? The brooding, arrogant guy who refuses to take orders? Self-taught coder who looks down on anyone who's taken a class. You're probably an atheist or something more contrarian. You claim to be an anarcho-capitalist, but you work here and pay taxes. You've probably read half of Neil Stevenson's Cryptonomicon, and it's about 50-50 whether you own a snake. His girlfriend owns a snake. Mr. Guilfoyle. Yes, ma'am. Is this your new team? It is. Five people, as you requested. That man over there? Ken. Isn't he the coffee guy? Barista, yes. And Joyce was watering the plants. Mona was working security. Dan and George, they were painting the lobby. Until today. Which reminds me, they all need to change their LinkedIn status to placators of middle management. I'll be honest, this is sort of a first. And here you thought I was just that guy. You know, Mr. Guilfoyle, you're right. You're not that guy. Because at the seven companies I've helped take public, every other that guy accepted their limitations, took on a team, and managed to get their work done. Some of them are now billionaires. None of them would have gotten into a dick measuring contest with HR when they were two weeks behind. So lucky us. I guess you're unique. You know, Gilfoy, when I first heard the phrase dick measuring contest, I thought it was a contest to see who could measure the most dicks. But it isn't. Is it, Gilfoy? What are you gonna do, Jared? Huh? You gonna buddy fuck me? Because that's what you do to your buddies now, isn't it? Get out. Oh, Quart. No, 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 no. That's too much sun. Oh, my God. This is Quart? Richard. This is who you're walking away for? Richard, do not. She's your new little code girlfriend? Don't. This, uh... Don't. This googly-eyed... No, 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 no! Oh, my God. 
Oh, okay, 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 look, I'm sorry. I'm... No! Oh, all right. I ought to knock your teeth out, you bitch-made motherfucker. I, 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 I didn't mean okay. I was state raised You think I'm scared to catch a case on some bullshit? I, I'm sorry, Jared. I, I didn't mean it, okay? I, I'm sorry, Guard, I didn't mean it. You keep her name out of your skink, you little mouth. You little, little bitch! Hey, 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 this is a place of business! Oh, my God. Don't shoot me. Jared! Jared! No, no. don't let Pecker one motherfucker! Jared! Get checked in, home! Oh, no! Oh, Jesus! You want to dance on the black dog, oh. homie? You did this, Richard! Oh. Uh, ow, what the fuck? Richard? Gavin. You look like shit. So do you. I see. So, until a Richard Hendricks reports an assault, I, I technically can't turn myself in for it. That is correct. And what about a uh, restraining order? Can I, I take one out against myself on his behalf? No. What if I threaten you guys? Just hear me out. Fucking pigs. I, I hope that you get cheated out of your overtime. How about that, dickless? Maybe you could just try calling the guy? Mr. Gilfoyle. You wanted to see me before I left? Yes, Tracy, I did. I wanted you to be here when I pushed my entire backlog of code. You finished all of it in just 24 hours? I did, all by myself. I'll take that apology now. Mr. Guilfoyle, you said that I had to choose. You said I could have it fast or I could have it right, but I just got it fast and right. And all I had to do was threaten your manhood by assigning you other coders. It worked at seven other companies, and it obviously worked here. We're back on schedule. Now, why would I be sorry about that? I respect your skills. Thank you. See you in the morning. Thank you, triathletes, for being here today to support a wonderful cause. Hooli cares. Hooli cares. Do you? <laughs> Take your marks. He's in the water. You sure? I cracked into Gavin's Hooli watch. Don't ask me how I did it. I've got real-time GPS location, blood pressure, body temperature, heart rate. I can even see where he is in his menstrual cycle. Looks like a good day to fuck him. <clears throat> you know, I really ought to consult with my wife before I make such a big financial decision. You're really gonna let a woman tell you what to do? So you've uh, got them all signed, have you? Yeah. And you can just uh, countersign all that and, and your form to sign is at the end there. Do that and we'll be out of your way. <sighs> Raska. Let's have a look-see, huh? To whom it may concern. Okay, and actually the signature page. I've done these things before. Yep. No, I know. I know. If this is a competition to find out who the shittier person is, I'm not sure it's something that I can add to. I can. Dinesh? This must be said. Gavin, you think you're the most spiteful guy in town, but you're not even the most spiteful guy in this room. The truth is, I'm a bad person. How do you think we got the money for this deal? I lied to my cousin's face. He is going to lose $40 million, give or take, plus his estate in Hawaii. I hope. See? I suck! Did you know that instead of breaking up with a girl that scared me, I called the FBI and sent her to prison? The Teslas. Right. 
I pressured my direct reports to buy Teslas that they could not afford because I wanted better wheels than a guy named Danny. And when I was eight years old, I stole my friend Ali's jump rope and tied it to the back of a truck that drove away. And then I told him I had no idea what happened to it. And when he cried himself to sleep, I ate his British candy and told him God took it because he hated it. Jesus. Hi. Bertram Guilfoyle? No. I'm John. Okay. Okay, here they are. The push to talk Huli phone 13 X. Here's a Huli phone right here. And here's a Huli phone right here. And here's Stop a... talking. Sit in that chair. Do not touch or say anything. Okay. Hey, John. Yeah? Could you grab my extra spudger? I think it's on my desk next to my chessboard. Okay. Cthulhu limited edition, huh? That's right. Huh. Anything else? Nope. Okay. Caspian's heart cracked open like one of his father's briny lobster traps. Lana, he whispered. I am not. Lana, he whispered. I am not a member of the prestigious Prout's Neck Yacht Club. Truth be told, I am but a... Truth be told, I am but a lowly man of the sea. She... she was my mistress, but now I pray that you might be as well. Thank you. Hey, John. Yeah? Did you move the white pawn here? Opening move? No. Okay. I'm gonna go hit the head. I should be back in about two minutes. Okay. Bishop to E6. Checkmate. Fuck. Okay, so that's 42 games for me and zero for you. You want to play again? I think I'll take a break. Okay. Okay. Fuck yeah, right? You see the chick in the racism car? I banged her in the famine truck. I'm sorry, what is this? It's the trailer for my festival, Russ Fest. Three days of partying, sucking, and fucking on a plot of land so far out, even Nevada barely wants it. I'll be serving tres comas exclusively. It's gonna be like Burning Man, except I'm gonna make a fuck ton of money. So, Burning Man? I literally love you, you spooky fuck. So we in? In what? Russ Fest. 
There's no internet in the middle of the desert, Richard. Maybe that's why no one lives out there. I don't know, I'm not an archeologist. All I know is they're telling me it's gonna cost a fucking fortune to get the infrastructure out there. Unless you guys do it for free. Why would we do it for free? Because it's cool, it's good for your brand. Well, Russ, we appreciate the interest. And I like where this is going. But... Fuck! There's just no way we could do both. And you would rather do Hawaii than Russfest? I would rather do my own mother than Russfest. How come whenever you guys want to do some shit, I'm always like, fuck yeah! But whenever I want to do some cool shit, you guys piss all over it. You know what? Give me this. Have fun shoving pineapples up each other's dick holes and pussy holes. You creepy fuck. <laughs>